Hi, this is Jason, a product specialist at Redcord Software. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download, install, and set up Virtual Time Clock Basic Edition for Windows. In order to get to our website, navigate to www.redcord.com. At the top of the website, you're going to find our download page. Go ahead and select Virtual Time Clock Basic. After you've reviewed the system requirements, go ahead and select Download. After downloading the software, you'll be given the option to save or run the program. Go ahead and run the setup wizard. After the software is finished installing, the next window you're going to see is the virtual time clock welcome window. This is where you can open a sample company and view sample company data. If you view sample company data and you'd like to return to this window, simply close virtual time clock and relaunch it. Today we're going to open a new company. Go ahead and enter your company information. You also need to create an administrator and administrator's password and select create. If you'd like to add additional administrators, you can do that later. A new database was successfully created for your company. From here, go ahead and select Add Users. All you need to get your time clock started is a first and last name for each of your time clock users. After you're done entering the names, go ahead and click Save and Close. This is the Configure Users window. This icon here will tell you that when Grace first clocks in, she's going to be prompted to create a password. If you'd like to add additional users, go ahead and click New at the bottom left corner. Let's return to the main configuration panel by clicking Show All. This is the main configuration window for Virtual Time Clock. There are three rows of icons titled People, System, and Data. We were just in the Configure Users window. In order to set how overtime rules are calculated on time cards, go ahead and choose Overtime from the Configure window. There's currently no rule set for overtime, so go ahead and click Modify Rule. This is the Modify Overtime Rule window. The overtime rule for our company is going to be accrued on a weekly basis. 1.5 times base pay is fine. Again, will be a weekly after 40 hours. Once everything is correct, go ahead and select Save. So the one rule in effect here on our time clock will be weekly after 40 hours. Go ahead and select Show All. To set when your employees get paid, let's choose Payroll Settings from the Configure window. In the Payroll Settings window, you'll see that you can select the payroll frequency. And then you can also set when the current payroll period will begin. This first number is going to be manually inputted. The second number gets calculated based on the payroll frequency that's selected. When everything is correct, click Apply and then select Show All. To set how total hours should be calculated and displayed on time cards, let's select Time Settings from the Configure window. On the lower left here, under Time Calculations, you can determine what day of the week your work week will start. The default for the time clock is Monday, but if you have a different work day that your work week starts, you can make that selection here. In addition, the time clock allows for rounding of time. The exact punch times are always recorded, however, for purposes of reports, you can select different rounding values. After everything is correct, go ahead and select Apply and Show All. Let's go ahead and close the Configure window. This is the Virtual Time Clock Basic Administration page. You'll see icons across the top, the first being the Entry Editor, which allows you to add, modify, or delete entries. The second is the Add Entry icon, where you can add manual entries. You can also print time cards, close your payroll period, make a backup of your time clock data, or you can re-enter the configuration panel. Let's go ahead and put this time clock into action. On the bottom left corner, let's select User Mode. If you'd like to turn Administration on, simply select File and turn Administration on. Let's go ahead and clock Grace in. As we mentioned before, Grace is going to need to set her password the first time she clocks in. She'll use this password each time she clocks in or out. 
This is her user status window. From here, she can simply click start. And she's clocked in. Thank you for watching this video. For additional resources, please visit our website at www.redcourt.com.